I think I want 6 a.m. every day this week. I mean, come shooting, I, I don't know, you know. If we got a night to shot, I won't show up to work till 6 p.m. I'll get done at work at 6 a.m., you know? That's just how the show business is. It's not normal hours, so you can't really schedule. It's, you can't be so hard on yourself when it comes to those hours. But this week I can be, I have no excuses. You know, why not? Again, it's, it's, it's not the time so much, as it is the discipline to get it done. I say one thing is everything. So if I'm disciplined enough this week when no one's holding me accountable and it doesn't matter, if, if regardless of that, I'm disciplined enough to let's say 6 a.m. every day this week. Every day, 6 a.m. I come out here and, and this is my breakfast. Well, then I'll be disciplined if I have three pages to learn in one night for a big scene the next day. This is where I can safely practice my discipline and then deploy it against whatever I need to in the future. This is the micro, this is the safe space. This is where I can fail. But I can't fail, if they toss that one up, I gotta hit a home run with it. I gotta hit a home run. This is my batting practice. Execute this week, man. Emphasis on the cute, which is how I look. You know, day one of the show, you have to set the tone. You have to bring it. You have to let everyone else know on set you're arriving polished. You took it serious and you're prepared to rock. That's what I have to bring to the table. And it doesn't happen on day one, it happens the weeks and months leading up to day one. Anyone looking my way is gonna know I put in the work. I took it serious. I was disciplined. There, there'll be no room to question that. I'm coming in sharp. I mean, it, it, you can just see it, you know? Like if we have a beach day or if we have a pool day or if we have a workout day or, you know, if our shirts are off or if they're on. And we're all just chilling in t-shirts. Like, you know, you can tell someone's put in work or not. So, it all plays, man. It's all the, it's crazy. Man, once you, once you see how it's all connected, it totally demystifies life. And I, I, I don't know if I've ever said this, to you, but I've, I've said it to myself many times. It really is A, B, C, one, two, three. Like, once you learn that in life, like, you kind of figured it out. And it's crazy, because you learn that, like, as a t teeny tiny kid. It's A, B, C, one, two, three. If you get that concept, if you understand this, you figured it out, you won. But now you gotta execute, not emotionally, but through discipline, you just gotta execute what you know you need to do next. It's that easy, man. It really is. That's the secret to success. That's it, that's the secret to everything. Just one foot in front of the other, just keep moving forward. Little at a time, little at a time. Keep chipping away, chipping away. Do what you know needs to be done. And we all know, 
We all know what needs to be done. Right and wrong is, is pretty basic. We know what pro being productive is. Just gotta execute. <laughs> We're getting into some weight now, dude. I even told myself, I was like, I don't want to go too heavy today because I don't want to mess up Wednesday's training. And I said, I said today, when I was writing this workout, to only do 225 on this because I didn't want to have that problem again. Well, here's 365. <laughs> Sometimes, man, we just need to shut up and, and, and get out of our own way. Sometimes we just need to shut up and just do the work. Don't overthink it. You know, I feel like we're programmed to have an answer to every problem. And then we, we, follow, we follow up our own questions like we're, you know, a reporter interviewing ourselves. Spend a lot of time just in the question and answer zone. Sometimes you just go execute. Leave the Q&As for someone else. Just go do. Trust your instinct, trust your gut. I needed to hear that this week. Thanks, Hunter. <laughs> just trust your gut, man. I mean, I've never felt anything like like that. Uh. 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 Lifting three, four, uh. five hundred pounds, I, I've uh. never felt anything quite like that. Talk about feeling some weight. <laughs> feeling that kind of weight, it, it, it makes life's pressures feel like less, as crazy as that sounds. Because I mean, this is just like weights, like what, this doesn't matter. I disagree. Like I can go up a little bit more. The, the mental preparedness that, that I have to take into a, a top end heavy set is is through the roof, bro. That's a lot of weight, bro. Like the second you lift it, 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 it dude, it, it's, it brings it. There's something cool about those heavy top end sets. It, you can't go through the motions. You, you just can't, you won't get it. It'll crush you. Man, I, I, I can't tell you how much this this uh, has helped me get to where uh, I'm at uh, in life. Uh, 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 if you don't bring it for a top end uh, set, dude, uh, mentally, physically, it doesn't even matter. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be locked in. So is life, man. When you get a great opportunity. If mentally you don't bring it, you won't even get to the physical part. <sighs> Letting myself down is my greatest fear. <sighs> Looking in the mirror and not being as great as I think I am. Because if I let myself down, I let everyone else down. the day before I show up to set. You know, I think about that a lot. Surprisingly, I guess, that drives a lot of my workouts. The pressure to be ready. How's it gonna feel? If I execute, the happiest I've ever been. If I don't execute, immense regret.
intimidating a little. I have no one to blame. Do I do it? Do I do the work or do I not? I have no I have no one to, you know, say, well, I did my part, they didn't do theirs. It's like it's it's on me. Did I do this work months prior? How diligent was I? How how you know, how on it was I? I just need I just need everyone that crosses my little life path to know I got them beat. That's all I care about. Just know I got you beat. When it comes down to it, I got you beat. I, I just have to know that because the world won't give me that, unfortunately. I thought that it would. I just have to know that, that whoever is the, 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 you know, whatever, that when they look at me, they know they are not even close to me. And when you stand across from me, just man to man, you know. You know, you know if you put in the work. You know if someone put you on. Set numbers aside, bank account, you know, uh, material things. Heart to heart, I got you beat. not just on some beat my chest stuff I really had to I really had to put in all this work but after doing doing how I, doing it how I've done it I just got to look at I just got to know that again man when I stand across from someone they know I worked harder for it Dude, I'm stoked for season three. I, I think it's been so weird because of everything being shut down that like I haven't been able to audition or or go to class in my off season. So it's been months since I've been in front of a camera with someone else and you know acted. Like it's it's been months. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be a little lull. Like, the first episode, everyone's just like, for one, it's gonna be a new normal with like safety precautions, which I don't even know what they're gonna be yet, but I know there's going to be, it's gonna be different. But moreover, like, acting is a job and it takes a little while to get back into, uh, what that looks like, what that feels like, being vulnerable, being being able to go there. So, it, I know Daniel. I have a good relationship with Daniel. He'll bring it. Daniel, Daniel's cold, man. <laughs> he really is. He really is. He'll bring it. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. I'm ready. Looking for. Oh, that feels good, man. I'm gonna try and watch a movie every day. I don't know. Like, while I'm working, I wanna have a movie on every day. Uh, and not because I, I wanna watch the movie necessarily, but I. I need to see great actors at work, you know? I, I think in, a, in an indirect way, that's, that's prep for JJ. Because you gotta think, it, it's just a page with words on it. The actor is what gives it life. So watching other actors do great work and, and some actors not do great work, make choices that perhaps you wouldn't have made 
and just comparing, you know? Running the route through your head versus how it played through their head, what you see on camera. I think that's all great work that I can do to be a better actor and to bring more to J.J. Parker. You have to believe that the work you do matters. That it's impactful. That you're making a difference. And humans, we're pretty smart. We know if we're just BSing. We know if we're working for the machine or if we're working for Dare I say, fellow man. <laughs> oh man, this weather got me talking deep this morning, man. It's the truth though. I was training a few years ago with a friend of mine and we kept going back to everybody wants the prize, nobody wants the process. And man, isn't that the truth? It's a little different. When you see what it really takes, you really want that? You know, everybody wants to, to be with or to date the, the superstar, the movie star, whatever. Until they realize, oh, they never see him. Like, bro, how, how do I have time to go to date? In my 20s, how could I possibly even allow my mind to, to justify? There's just so much work to be done. There's so many great things to do. Everybody wants the prize. Everybody wants the dream. A million dollars. And they're hitting a the snooze button. What are you doing? What are you talking about? That's all you're doing. You're just talking. You're just talking about it. Which is fine. It's fun to do. But few people are really, really doing it. How's it like eating with the cast and crew and stuff during lunch? During lunchtime and breaks and stuff? A lot of times I go to my trailer and eat. Unless we're, even when we're on location, I go to my trailer and eat. Acting is such a vulnerable, draining thing for me because it, it, it's not a natural thing for me. I'm much more introverted than extroverted. I greatly prefer no one around me than everyone around me. From the second I step on set, it's a bunch of highs, haze, hellos, and it's a very social thing, collaborating with other artists. So I usually take that half hour or hour to go recharge my batteries. For me to put out the best work, I require quiet time. And I need some space so that I may perform uh, to the best of my abilities. I love them, I love everyone, but I gotta ultimately take care of the work that people all over the world are seeing. So to make sure I prioritize that, I usually use my lunches to, uh, to recharge. Work out, eat a meal. Work out, eat a meal. Work out, eat a meal. <laughs> That's basically the schedule today.
Yeah, it feels daunting sometimes. But you just have to go back to being present. Um, and then I just, I just always go back to gratitude. I just always put it on other people. It's not about me. Who cares how I feel? You know? That, uh, that gives me so much depth, I could never run out of it. Because it really doesn't, it doesn't matter if, oh, it's a lot for me. I just think about everyone else. And I'm like, no, give me more. That's what I'm built for. A three a day? Cool, if I had more time, I might go four. <laughs> I just wanna know that I gave it my all, I emptied my tank. If my input isn't where it needed to be, then there'll always be that part of me that wondered what if it had been. Uh, uh, not drinking enough water, little things like that. That's, that's what winning versus losing is. You, you really didn't have enough self-control to watch what you put in your mouth, really. And you want to inspire and lead all these people. So that, that's what losing would look like. Me looking in the mirror, not to the world. The world's just going to think, you know, oh, JJ, he's, oh, that's JJ, party. But me looking into the mirror, I will lose. If I can't look back at this time in my life, whether I look back in a month or I look back in 30 years and know that I pulled my heart out of my chest and really gave it everything I had for this, I could not have come in better. Up here, Dave. Right here, right here. Sit. Go. Nice, nice, nice. Sit. Go. Nice hands. Sit. Go. Good hands, David. Sit. Go. Okay. I can hit that pass. Line of scrimmage. I want to run one or two more where I've got to get the ball out there. Even though in the show it's not like we're actually playing, it's all, I still need to be able to, uh, to make a good pass. It's near the same thing. It's in between a Hail Mary and a post. So it's so I love it, man. It, it, it's good to be back on the field, you know? I, I, I couldn't love it. I couldn't love it anymore. You know, I grew up doing this, so to get to come out here uh, with my boys 
and just not, not worry about all the stresses and drama of life and just get to run around on a field. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> My name is uh, David Guerra. I live down here. I don't live that far, so that's why this is the field I usually come to. Yeah, I play uh, American football, um, varsity, since uh, freshman year. Well, the first that I saw, I, I wasn't really sure because he looked older than how he looked normally in the show. But then I, but then all of a sudden he told me, and I'm like, oh, that's it. Good work, David. Nice to meet you, man. Let's go cool if I take a picture with you. Yeah, for sure. Right. Two, one. Do one more. All right. Cool. Let me make sure I like you. Oh yeah. Good day's work. You know, if ever you can take a second to uh, just be a decent human being, do it. How I interact with someone as Hunter or as JJ is the exact same. I haven't changed. Uh, if anything, I've grown more appreciative. I'm really grateful that I have the opportunity through the show to have those moments where you can um, be a human with someone. I think the platform gives you the opportunity to speak. It gives you their ear, but you still gotta have some substance and depth. He's a good kid. You know, it's funny because on the show, I'm, I'm playing a senior this year, but we're practically, that's what I'm playing. So it's cool to, to be able to work with who I'm emulating in a sense. Good kid, bright future if he can stay on the right path, the right track. You know, it's hard, life's hard. A lot of pitfalls, a lot of opportunities to slip up. No one's immune to that, you know, so. Hard worker, if pushed properly. Would he be someone on your on your team in the future when you're a coach? <laughs> he could be, yeah. I'd have him play for me. Every time I'd say something, he'd say, "Yes, sir." I appreciate that. It's just it's just a you know a respect. When you respect someone, you, you talk to them differently. When you trust someone, you know that. They have your best interest. I feel like I could have told him to run any route under the sun. He'd say, yes, sir, and go try and run it for me. That's a privilege, you know. It's a privilege when someone will trust you like that. That's why I put in all this work. Because if someone puts their trust in me, I will not let them down. I will put in all the work behind the scenes so when it's game day, when it's time to show up, when, when a decision needs to be made and they look to me, they feel comfortable, they feel confident that I can lead. That's what I'm born to do. I remember coming to this field for season two and training. And probably came here for one, but to be going into three, Knowing that the show is such a success, knowing I have a, a, a solid place in the show, it's cool because it really doesn't feel much different as far as the work goes. I don't feel bigger than life. I just feel like little old me out here from Chattanooga, Tennessee with his dream of being an actor. And inspiring people through working hard and staying dedicated and leading through my actions. I still feel that way, man. I hope I always do.